again good morning everyone so welcome to week 10 and uh it's first day of the week so i hope we will have a good energy for the coming week so let's start with uh, a willing person who wants to share uh how the weekend passed or uh anything about the last week so anyone who's willing to share Germain, Bernard, Kevin, anyone okay maybe like Kevin can you hear me yeah good morning I can hear you from here okay okay Bernard continue okay so um, good morning everyone and um I would like to welcome everyone to a new week. Uh, we are getting to a new month and then the weeks are also running and it's been insightful so far. So on my part, I'm getting uh, ready for the week and then uh, hoping that uh, I'll be able to match up and uh, uh, meet my deadlines as usual. Um, the past one month has been very challenging for me in terms of power, electricity. Um, it's still very challenging, but I've been trying to resolve it. So I had some lapses, uh, but gracefully I've been able to catch up. So now uh, for the first part, I've been able to complete all my outstanding uh, career challenge. And I'm hoping that either today or tomorrow, I'll also be able to complete my um, outstanding technical challenges as well. Yeah, although uh, we have some little uh, rationing uh, power at the moment so I'm, I'm hopeful and i'm hoping to be able to catch up for this week i am praying and hoping that i will not miss anything out yeah okay great bernard that's uh, i'm glad to hear that you're you're pushing hard even though like there are a lot of difficulties uh that's uh, we are glad to hear that emilian maybe i will hand over to you uh emilian okay maybe let's continue so kevin can you hear me can you share yes um thank you akram um good morning to everyone um so far so good so nine weeks down on to week 10 and i think it's been uh, an exhilarating experience for 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 me personally um and uh, i hope we keep uh, having a great week 10 just as the other nine have been so Great day to everyone. Okay, that's also great to hear. Uh, I think like someone sent a message. Uh, okay, it's from Stasi. Mm, okay, that's, uh, I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to uh, hear that from you also, Stasi. Uh, maybe like is there another person who wants to continue? Kasa, maybe can you continue? How was your weekend? And then how was last week's uh, challenge? Can you share? Yes. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Ekra. Uh, to me, it was amazing last week, week nine. Uh, we have acquired a lot of knowledge. Maybe to wrap up. Uh, we I gain or I acquire some knowledge about the formula of databases, especially on the uh, Google Excel sheets. Working on that one already, we have uh, adapted or mastered on that one. Even though we are working with Google Sheets or Excel in our work day to day activity, simply we uh, we 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 exercise with the simple formulas like plus minus the multiplication and the division is especially with the financial uh, pa pa transaction parties uh, but in week nine we have acquired uh, in detail on the formulas and database so it was amazing and based on that one uh, you gave us some uh, challenge exercises and though it was some difficult with the challenges we have tried and we have uh, submitted our assignment and it was nice and uh, enabled enable me to uh, further uh, investigate and further uh, read. So it was amazing. On the other hand, also, we 
took the non-technical portions, which was the conflict, uh, cause of conflicts and solutions of conflicts in a one project. As we know, in a project, there is always a conflict. Maybe we can say as it is a site, uh, just it is one of the part of the project. So every uh, of us uh, that we are going to expect whenever we run a uh, project, we have to think about this conflict, the cause of conflict is the mechanism, how we are going to solve them. So uh, we last week we acquired a lot of things in detail. So it was amazing. And this week uh, 10 also we uh, we are from my side, I am very energetic. I said I'm energetic because uh, I believe that uh, I am going to gain or I, I can gain some new information, some new knowledge, some new skills. So in this regard, uh, I am very energetic for this week 10. And this is all things from my side. Thank you. Okay, Kasa, I'm glad to hear that you have uh, under you have get a good insight from the uh, challenges that you are going through, and then uh, you have good a uh, good understanding also, and also you have pushed it uh, further. Uh, I'm glad to hear that from your side. Maybe uh, Gerwai also have shared uh, that he has already submitted all the submissions, and then he is also feeling energetic for this week. Uh, I'm glad to hear that from all of you, uh, from all of you guys. And uh, maybe Muali, can you share? Uh, if you can't, you can also type in the chat, uh, Muali. Okay, so uh, if you are talking, you are muted, Muali. Maybe like you can share also in the chat. So Collins. Can you share? How was your weekend and how was like uh, the challenge so far or last week's challenge? Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, yeah, it's been, a, yeah, it's been a beautiful last week was really awesome. And, uh, it was really great, though uh, I was still having a power challenge, so that was the major challenge I had, you know, which uh, actually is delaying a lot of things I'm supposed to do. But overall, the classes were cool on um, project management, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to being a greater one this, this week. Then. So overall, it's cool. Thank you very much. So you have a good energy also for this week. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very bright energy for this week. Okay. So I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So maybe Tarifa, can you continue? Can you share what your experience was from the last technical challenge and uh, like your weekend? How does it pass? Tarifa? Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'll tell you from my side, last week, as you know that in our country, especially in the southern part, it was a hot week during this uh, celebration of the Mescal, Mescal holiday. So because of that, actually, we, we were a, a little bit busy, but I tried to, you know, respond my submissions. Actually, during the uh, submission time, I was, you know, facing the challenge, especially on those uh, formulas, count, count, uh, count if and count if a. So uh, I don't know how you guys just managed that one, but from my side, the formula were not working. Rather, I was using, you know, the other method like. I will select the uh, data range, and then I will. Uh, I was looking at the bottom of the sheet that shows the average, the count, the sum, and so on. So I was managed the uh, challenges by doing this way. Anyways, it was good lesson for me. Really, I have got a new uh, knowledge and skill, especially on the how to uh, you know analyze data and how to. Uh, just, just 
compile data. So it was good time for me. And before last week, of course, we were uh, you know uh, taking the lessons and tutorials on the build documentations. It was also a good time for me. And for this week, I am very energetic, and uh, I will try to be available for all of the sessions as usual. So uh, hope uh, if someone from the tutors might support me, especially on those uh, challenge points for me, like those formulas. Actually, I, I use those formulas for other activity, for other uh, uh, points and the challenges. But for this specifically for this one, I was facing the challenge. I don't know where what the, 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 the missing point. So in order to have uh, clear understanding on that. I need someone from the tutors so that if there is any free time, we just will meet and we can do it again. That's uh, from my side. Thank you very much. Over to you. Okay, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that, uh, Terafa. Mm. Like, if you want any assistance, you can just uh, directly message uh, me or Rudolf or anyone you want. And then, like about the formula count, if I have also tried to, to calculate the first uh, task from task two, I guess. So, like uh, for example, if you wanted uh, count if it uh, the the formula what it basically do is it will count what you wanted to count. For example, like uh, you will just write is equal sign as we have already seen, and then you will type count if and then you will give it the range that you wanted to count it from so like for example for the issue i think it's uh, related to the issue if it's resolved or unresolved so like for example if you wanted to count the resolved issues how many of them are there you can just uh, use equal sign and then you, you will type count if and then bracket you will put the data range that you wanted to count it from um, and then you will type since I wanted to count the resolved one, I will just, you will type a, a resolved in a quotation. So uh, it will just give you the resolved issues from the given the data range that you wanted to count it from. Uh, if like, if you wanted further explanation, you can, as I have already said, you can just uh, send a direct message, no worries. Uh, and I'm also glad to hear that you're in a good energy and you have done all your uh, technical assignments so far. So if there are anyone who wants to share, uh, I think like all of you have already shared. Emilian, is there anything that you want to add? Uh, good morning, Evan. Uh, I think I don't have much to say. I uh, expect that, and I love the, uh, the progress sharing. Um, I think I don't have any announcement, but I was just checking on the agenda. If you for a time we have a CBS, I'm uh, gonna meet at uh, two thirty p.m. That's the second time. So other than that, that's all for me. Okay, Emilia, I think like he's having a little bit of network. So like Angeline, uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing you for the first time. Uh, do you want to say something or is there anything that you wanted to share? Angeline, if you're talking, you're muted or you can also send us a direct message or you can write in the chat box if you want. Kerod mm. and Rudolf, is there anything that you want to add? Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, no, there's no, nothing on my side. Bring them to weekly anyone. Okay, so yeah, like uh, the schedule for today is uh, we have a morning stand up in the usual time, and then we will have a challenge introduction from twelve to one p.m. And then we have tutorial two, which is introduction to GAP. Canva for creating invitation cards. So I think like it's uh, more of a new uh, technical challenge. So it's better if you can attend all the, the sessions. So it will start from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And then there is a community building session from 2.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. And then you have uh, an independent challenge work. So uh, 
glad you joined week uh week 10 and uh i think okay so uh, angeline if you have any question or you, you want uh, if you want any help you can directly message to us uh, like you can uh, you can type uh, tutors basically they have uh, their name and then slash and then tutor in the slack so uh, if you have joined slack you can just uh, direct send us a, a direct message so i think we can wrap up over here oh for adak mel uh do you want to say something of or you if you want to share your experience i'm sorry for arriving late yeah uh, you know uh, i have been in classes for the past two weeks okay in order to make the, the class session more interactive like it's, it's like it's a different actually uh, you better include the summary part at the end of the, the later do you think so i think like it's noisy where you are uh. yeah for example most of the time we wrap up the classes after finishing our ideas or our presentation but it will give some additional quality or some additional quality for the class or for the session if the, if the presenter or the the one who is the instructor who is giving the presentation to ask the the participants to summarize the the lesson in three minutes or five minutes i think this uh, this thing is actually a little bit point, but this tip can improve the, the interactiveness and the engagement of the class. And this is my idea. And uh, my other idea is my other my, my other idea is I have some concern with the the submitting the assignment. Can you give me uh, like a, a, a revision on that point? Because this time I was hoping I'm not going to have any job this time, but unfortunately I got a job for for 45 days, and you know it's uh, it's just it's uh, it's just such a clash with with my plan. My plan was to attend this program fully, but it's fine. I'm just finding it a little bit difficult. And my question is just: Can you can you give me a recap on the submission rules? Thank you for listening. Do you have a Tenix a Tenix platform? Like, have you accessed it? Do you have the access? Have you logged in before yeah. or submitted your submissions? Yeah. Actually, I have submitted for the first week and uh, my submission got created but the i don't know what happened with the non-technical challenge uh, it hasn't been graded yet and my second assignment i hope i will submit it today so am i going to be penalized or punished if i submit it today i think the the, the challenge related to data analysis and something so like uh, if you have already submitted if you have already submitted you know how the submission works so i didn't quite get your question like about the platform uh, my question is if i submit the uh, today last time i was not late i submitted it on time but this week uh i i got late and am i going to be punished if i submit it today this is answer this, this question uh actually like you can submit it today but okay. try to make it as soon as possible because it's going to be late submission and uh like uh if you are going to be more and more rich is uh, the portal is, might also get closed uh, try to okay. Uh, thank you, okay and about the 
uh, sessions. Since we have or we always upload the recording, you can also check the YouTube. There is uh, a channel called All Sessions Recording where we share all the recording of the sessions. Okay. I, I will I will I will try to have a look at it. Yeah. Okay. So I think we can wrap up. Uh, if you have, do you have any other question for it? I don't have any question, but uh, you know, uh, can I go to uh, empty handed? Can you give me like a summary over two minutes what you have been discussing on this stand up? Okay, so like a stand up is all about uh, asking how, uh, like, if you have any uh, difficulties before or if you have any questions or like just to share experience from each other. That's all about it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I think we can wrap up the session. Uh, Rudolf, you can stop the recording and uh, have a good uh, week team for all of you guys. Uh, have a good day. Have a good day.